50 years from now, after the Judgment Day, the machine took over and exterminated almost all of us. Small units of survivors, relentlessly tried to find a method to fight. They were too powerful. Exactly as Elon Musk said, but we didn't listen to him. It was he, with the less remaining brilliant minds, who noticed that a triplet could be exploded with higher frequencies at high intensity, causing their mechanics to resonate. This discovery brought on the battlefield infinite ranks of violinists, commanded by Colonel Yoyoma and Marshals Garrett and Sterling, who took on many victories, but you know, the violinists start to fragile as soon combat. The only one capable of emitting those frequencies and our only line of defense at the time was Senator Kerry. But she could not do it all by herself. They tried to find a solution. Many high-level guitarists tried to do everything possible. Jeff Bezos and his staff were studying how to do this in his old Space Amazon laboratory, initially built to shoot packages directly to the people's home from space, and later closed for an accident with a guy who bought a washing machine. Here is the shipping day. A washing meteor has destroyed half Los Angeles. In fact, here in my time, it's only called Jalas. Anyway, they understood that you could get the raid a squeaky sound, even with the electric guitar, playing with pieces of metal, with slides, with coins. But the sound product was also made up of too much noise. It was so confusing and dirty because by raising the gain, the noise of the rubbing on the string was also amplified exponentially with outclassed the tone, since one was forced to press on the string. Almost all hope was lost when one day a stranger created the x pick. It said that he was an alien who came to help us from the mass future of the future in the future. He came from such a future, so future, that the word future was not yet fully formed. Basically, he came from the few. Be that as it may, we finally had our latest weapon. From that moment, the world changed radically. The magnetic force of the x by rubbing it gently on the string without pressing, was able to attract the string to itself and to make it vibrate at the maximum amplitude to have the most ringing sound and perfect as possible. Its inventor from the few explained us that the magnetism for the x pick is the analog of the resin for the bow of a violin. And it was all through. If you try to play the violin without the resin on the bow, it will only produce noise because the string will vibrate very little. And it was the same comparison between normal metals and the magnetic speak. This invention was capable of transforming an electric guitar practically into an atomic magnetic cannon for high frequencies. And this proof all the most badass guitarists to the top of the armies. The government contracted Marshall, Fender and Vox to build the greatest walls of sound never seen before under the supervision of Admiral Renzo Piano and hired the highest authorities in the sector. In fact, Major Vey and Colonels Satoriani and Moore 
were in charge of the attack strategy together with the new president of the United States, Tommy Emanuel. The bass players found their place in battle on the front line because we noticed that the machines could be weakened by low passed frequencies before the final hits of the guitarists. These units took the name of Attack Slappers with their commanders Pilichowski, Wooten, Bertolt and 504, but we will see it better in second part. The new promises of guitar that you follow on YouTube today and specifically the do Paul Davis, Rob Scaldo, Samurai Guitarist, Tyler Larson and many others became the heroes of humanity and the undisputed masters of these new XP techniques. Their troops wiped out more than half of the machine armies in a few months. Subscribe now to this and their channels because one day these guys will save your life. We're creating various tutorials to train the new guitar troops and what you're about to see is the last survivor of those tutorials, which we have recovered in VHS and sent back in time so that you can all learn how to fight with the XPIC. Hey man, what the hell are you talking about? Who are you? Who let you in? You've been talking for half an hour and you just say bullshit. Now shut up, please. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hello, everyone from the XPIC staff. In this tutorial, we'll introduce four of the outstanding techniques of this innovative pick. Electric violin, octave, slide and tapping. Also going into detail on what happens when we use this object at an electromagnetic, magnetic and acoustic level. Let's start by remembering that every sound that came out of your guitar or bass is the result of a set of electronic processes designed to modulate the electromagnetic fields of the pickups of your instrument, based on the vibration given to the strings. So, essentially, this is translated in, if I modify or interrupt an electromagnetic field while strings vibrate, I obtain a parallel modification of my output sound. And of course, we all know that getting this modulation is possible in variety of ways, including your amps EQ, gain, guitar knobs, pick up the string spacing, FX pedals, software adjustment, and more. But there are also two other methods which are more analog. The electromagnetic interaction, making a string vibrate through electromagnetic fields, a technique that was introduced by D. Bow to obtain a violin style sound with an exceptional fading which gives you softness. And then there is magnetic interaction which is the one that uses the x -peak. There is the interactions between iron strings and or electromagnetic fields of the instrument's pickups with the magnetic ones of the pick itself. In this tutorial we will see the interaction between pick and strings while in the next we will talk about the interaction with electromagnetic pickups. In other words, with the x -peak, we get a different sound for each position and interaction between the pick and the pickups of the instrument or with the strings. And this open up a new world of creativity available to the artist, because being able to change the electromagnetic field in real time when it comes to electric instruments means having total control. Guys, remember that the more time you waste setting up the instrumentation, the more you will benefit from it in the final sound and above all in the cleanliness of the sound. To begin, it would be advisable to bring the treble pickup as close as possible to the strings and move the rhythm pickup away. And this is because for this type of technique we mainly use the treble pickup but also to dampen the attraction that the right pickup has with the X-Pick in order to obtain a more homogeneous sliding on the strings in the notes right above that pickup. Furthermore, 
we have created and made available in the description, freely downloadable, the continuum of the guitar fretboard, printable and applicable on all guitars with 22 and 24 frets. It's logical that each guitar has different octave settings, so it will not be precise to the millimeter, but we will certainly have a few more references to start understanding where the notes are over there. Because guys, with this pick you will gain more than octave on each string of playable notes. No, no, please, make me repeat. Here we go. With this pick you will gain more than one octave on each string of playable notes. Okay, happy? Now shut up. And therefore, print it on an A4 sheet without retouching the dimensions and without automatic adaptations. You have to carefully cut out, use small strips of adhesive or double side tape and stick it first on the wooden space after the last fret in this way and then spreading it also on the treble pickup. Note that we'll never be able to make the note sound right above the treble pickup because the piece of string that will have to vibrate is too short and you will only hear confusion of magnetic fields due to too much proximity. In addiction, two words should be devoted to choosing the best strings to maximize this type of effects. All types of strings are fine, but if you want to get the most out of it, you should opt for the three thin strings E, B, G a mixture of highly reactive material to magnetic fields. From our numerous tests, we have noticed a particular emphasis of these effects using cobalt strings, but the classic nickel strings are also fine. And as for the thickness, just remember that the string vibrates better if it's thinner, it's real, but if it's thicker, it sounds louder, so it just depends on your style. Instead, speaking of the three less strings, D, A, E, it will be advisable to opt for strings that are not overly thick in the amateur, and is always to try to help the execution, dampening the magnetic attraction with the X-peak. Ok, let's analyze how to proceed to obtain this infinite and soaring in sound. When using the X-peak, and in particular with this type of techniques, the more you press on the string, the more it will not play. In fact, it's quite the opposite. When I approach the string with the side part of the pick, the string will be affected by the magnetism, so you should not press it, but rub it as gently as possible, letting the magnetic fields act, which will attract the string and make it vibrate automatically. As you have just heard, another wonderful thing that you will be able to do is also create a wonderful fade-in or fade-out in the note, based on movement and pressure exerted, making a small circle with a pick on the string. You have to make the magnetic fields act, exactly like the bow of a violin. For the construction of the sound you heard, and to be able to make the most of violin style dynamics, we use a little compressor, very little distortion as you can see. Similar cues both on the virtual amplifier output and the effect chain, always with open eyes and few lows to limit background noise. We also use a gate which perfectly combines with the magnetism of the peak, just to create the fade in or fade out. Chorus delay and reverb according to your tastes. If, on the other hand, you want to sacrifice dynamics a little for a brighter and more powerful sound, turn up the gain and presence in this way. But remember that the more gain you put into it, the more you will have to limit the rubbing on the string to have a clean sound. Hello? Oh, Liv, how are you? Uh, guys, uh, excuse me a minute. How is your dad? Nice. 
Ah, okay, he's gone, but we keep going. And so we were saying, by raising the gain, prisons and high frequencies, you will be able to use your weapon at maximum power. Guys, in order for the sound to continue indefinitely, the string must practically resonate, but the movement must always be present and as limited as possible if you want to get the clean sound. And so in this way, we have seen how it's possible to use the pick to have the sound of an atomic electric violin and save the future of the entire human race. Hey, you again! Stop it! And go fuck yourself out of here now! But... Now! Okay. So, sorry for the interruption. We were saying that it is also possible to use the X-Pick as an octave. When we slide on the string, it's not we who will have to follow the string but it will be the pick itself, thanks to its manities. We just have to accompany it to the decider note. It's obviously possible to use it as a slide with the right hand, finally leaving the left free to put chords. And this is also one of the reasons that give the futuristic shape of this pick because from the rounded side part it's possible to be able to take three strings simultaneously. With the back of the pick you can take two strings, while with the side scat it's possible to take them individually. To be much more precise when playing with these techniques when performing whole scales with passages on all the strings to avoid obstructions in the passages. It's also wide enough to allow it to be rubbed on the tone to be played for the violin effect, so as to be able to mix the two techniques. Talking about the attack of this peak, if we were to make a scale of the intensity of the attack of all the peaks in the world, we will find the X-Peak both on the side with greater intensity and on the other with lower intensity. How is this possible? Why does the X-Peak have the attack with greater intensity? Each peak of ferrous material has a very powerful attack. But when you bring the X-Peak close to the string, magnetism will be activated, which will attract the, the string to the peak, adding to your strength. It's for this reason that the attack of this peak is so powerful that it must be controlled. In sense, if you are playing in the key of E, it's useful to learn to pick in the same key or in scale to avoid dissonances and for an extra embellishment. And why does the X peak also have the lower intensity attack? Because thanks to magnetic fields, you can play a note or a chord without the presence of an attack that is without touching the guitar, basically just slapping the electromagnetic fields of the pickup with the magnetic fields of the pick, while you put the chords or a scale and make the strings vibrate.
but we will see better in the next tutorial. There remains the last technique to examine in this tutorial, which is the tapping with the pick or tapping. Everything remains the same at the level of settings, even if it's easier to get ringing sounds because in this case we are going to tap on the string. And there is less strike with the pick in the position on the desired note. Be careful too, you must not press on fret like Vikings, but always and only gently place the pick because I remind you that he will attract himself the string and produce the sound. This will allow you to perform the wildest and most acute tappings ever heard. And the best things actually is to mix these techniques each other and with your usual techniques. If we can express a personal thought, Dexpick really has a saturated potential. Like all new ideas, it can still be improved and perfected, but to do this we need you and your advices. And yes, we are old school too, but we are also open to experimenting new things, new techniques, new approaches, always in strict compliance with good music and not all that sh** that is on radio and TV these days. Guys, the possible techniques with this object are so many that we have to create a second part. In this tutorial we have seen the techniques between the X pick and the strings. In the next we will see the possible interaction between the X pick and the pickups of your instrument. So stay tuned and see you next time. What is happening? Oh no! They are already here! I told you! Okay, okay. Let's take Dex pick. Hurry up! To my signal. Who united? In sequence. Three, two, one. Whoa, it's minor, man! Excuse me, sir. And now the final move. No man, now you have to tell me, in your whole life, when have you heard someone killed with a major? I mean, in movie soundtracks too, when? Uh, you're right sir, uh, excuse me sir. I mean, uh, do you understand, not, not only does it not work, it's illegal to kill someone in major. Come on, what a rookie. The first who plays entirely Maruni by Pink Floyd with the X-Pick will take my place in command of the Resistance. <laughs>